Well, good morning. I thought I'd start off this morning. Uh, I haven't done a video in a long time, and I'm trying to use a new camera, new microphone, new everything. So we'll see how it all works. What I wanted to show you this morning is uh, turning a bowl with a, an overhanging lip or a lip on the inside. Usually cleaning up this area is very difficult. Um, I've used small scrapers, um, different kinds of tools trying to get that clean enough because it's really hard to sand. Um, and uh, so I want to sand as, as cleanly as I can. So I've started using a hunter number five to get in there. And I'm going to show you this morning how I do that. It leaves it clean enough that you can usually start sanding with either 180 or 220 uh, if you do it carefully. So let's get on with that. This is kind of a, a close-up detail. Uh, if you try to turn this with a bowl gouge, you might be able to get in there if the lip doesn't hang out any more than this one. If it comes out a little farther, you just can't do it because you can't rub the bevel. Uh, you'll get catches. Well, you'll probably get a catch trying to start. It's very difficult and uh, may not be able to rub this area right in here. You won't have a bevel rubbing cut. As you go down through the bottom of the bowl, you run the same problem. With a hunter number five, the cutter is mounted flat across the top. So what that allows me to do is I can rub the bevel pretty easily going down through this way or I can come up in this direction. What I usually do in this case is I've turned most of the bowl, I've gotten as much as I can, and I'll come in here and I'll find the bevel. You'll see right now it's not on the bevel. I tilt it out. I've got the tool tilted just real slightly. And I tilt it out and I pull the bevel across like this. Then when I get up to here to where you're not going to be able to rub the bevel, what I do is I flatten it out real slightly, about 45 degrees. Um, and then I pull it gently across there. And you can go back and forth, just be real, real gentle. The lighter you are, the better the cuts will be. And you can even come around this edge a little bit. I find that to be a very safe cut. You're cutting with about 730 on the cutter, which gives a shear cut, which is a very nice cut. So again, that's, you know, I come out here, I find the bevel come across the bowl. As I get up toward that corner, I flatten it out real slightly, bring it back up like that. Okay, well normally I would turn the outside of the bowl first, of course. Um, and what I would do in this case uh, this is basically the same thing. You find the bevel of the tool. You got it tilted about 15 degrees or so and you make a really, really clean shear cut up through here. When you get into this area where you're likely to get a catch, you flatten the cutter out just real slightly, and you bring it back across, coming around the front like that a little bit, just back and forth, just real gentle. And those cuts, uh, again, you can probably get by with 220 grit if you work at it. When you first do it, it may take 180. Um, it's a very safe tool to use. In, in this particular angle, I think. I think you can see that with a bowl gouge, as I start right here and I get in right about there, I'm going to lose my bevel because it's hitting this corner. Coming back in this direction, I can probably get most of it right about in there. Again, I'm going to have trouble rubbing the bevel because the shoulder it's going to rub in there. So this little corner right in there is where I always had trouble with. And that's where the hunter number five really pays off for me.